inside of the boat and the outside of the boat. Why? Well, I've overlooked something. Before I can do anything here, I have to do something else. It also requires producer John. So, shall we get on with the episode? On how hard can it be? So, welcome back to you, my friends. Today, what have we got to do? Well, what we've got to do is, along here, you can see there are some rust circular holes. And at the lower section, there is also some holes there too. They hold two teak straights that go parallel on both sides of the boat. So before we can start fixing the interior, we've got to get those two on, because if we don't, then we're going to have to rip it all apart again. So those straights go beyond this point here. So as you know, in the last episode, I was starting to cut everything out and then I realised that, hang on a minute, those go further along. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make an incision in this plywood that's already on the boat, fixed. It's fiberglassed in, I'm not going to cut it all out. I'm going to measure across, cut a hole where the bolts go through and hopefully that's all I'll need to do because, as you know, I've got some oak going along there anyway. So it'll cover those holes up. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today and tomorrow. Now, the boat, as you know, curves. I've got two, uh, four pieces of um, teak. It is, well, I'm thinking, I'm assuming it's teak. I can't remember what it's called. It's a hardwood. So I've got to try and, fingers crossed, I'm hoping that it's going to bend to the shape of the hull. If it doesn't, then we might have to just delay it a bit. Might have to do a bit of steaming. Quite like, quite like the idea of doing that. So that is the jobs for today. The reason for wearing the hat, two reasons. If you're a Formula One fan, you'll know why. One is that it's cold in here and I've got no hair, so I'm keeping my head warm. Second reason is Mercedes yesterday won their uh, Formula One Championship, Constructors Championship. And of course, Lewis Hamilton, he did the same two uh, weekends ago. So, brilliant, I'm so chuffed. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm wearing the hat. And also it makes my face look a bit thinner because trust me, that camera, John tells me it was a few thousand pounds, it doesn't do anything for your figure. I mean, I look a right umpa lumpa. I've seen it, it looks horrible. So I'm doing my best to just look a bit, a bit thinner, you know, put a bit, a bit of fat around here. Can't cover that up. I mean, there's years of professionalism gone into that, but I'm doing my best to get rid of it. So, without further ado, shall we get cracking? I think we should. Let's go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure. I can see, with my little trusty torch, I can see where it comes through the hull. So, I'm going to get the tape measure. I'm going to measure... How far that is there towards the end twenty six or sixty seven centimeters. Sixty seven. So if we go across there to sixty seven, so that's where it starts. Right there. Now the lower one might be more difficult because it's just there. Now let me just check. I know that doesn't go as far. It still goes around somewhat. So what I'll do is I think I'll start by I'll create a box. An ink box, I don't want to go any larger than I need to. Um, just a little box there. I'll chop a box shape out there. And then I'll see where the other one is. I might have to come down here and chop something out there. Okay, I might have to fiberglass a bit in, but that's not going to be seen because, as you know, we've got something to go over the top of it. So I think that is what I'm going to do. 
what am I going to make a box out of? That piece of wood. I knew there was a reason why I didn't tidy up. Okay, so if that's the beginning, uh, that's where it is. That is going to be where I want to cut. Drill, drill, drill in the corner so I can get me uh, jigging, like so. I need a bit of power for that. are always failing in here because there's no signal. There we go. So I'm going to actually do four drills because I want to keep that piece just in case I want to fiberglass that back in. sensible, wouldn't it? Ooh. I wonder if I can use that as a door. See, it's fallen through. So professional. So can you see those little um, nobules there? They are obviously factory. That, that is all fiberglass coming up to there. That's wood, and that's obviously the structure for this bit. Uh, and these are probably little bolts that are fiberglassed in to hold that in. So I'm probably going to have to just cut one of them out just to see what that is on this side, not through right through because there's already, obviously already a hole there. Um, and decide what I'm going to do. It's either that or I make a fresh hole, but then that's more holes in the boat. We don't want more holes in the boat, do we? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use my oscillator, just chop that fiberglass out there, and then see what's behind it. I'm sure there's a, a bolt or something, because I think I don't know if I can reach it originally. <coughs> I think what's behind here is that that used to go right through the hull, uh, side of the hull boat, and there was a washer like that. And that looks oh, that looks very similar to the size there. That went through into the wood, and then obviously it was tightened up and squashed it together with some sticker flex or whatever, just to seal that hole up. So I think that's what's left in there. So I think I'm going to have to chop them out anyway. I think I might as well use the original holes rather than just start sticking more holes into the boat. I mean, there's a little one there. Uh, 
and use those as the original fixings. Which requires John because I want him to be on the other side and if I can make a hole decent enough then I can put a marker or mark it right the way through on the wood. I can then make a decent hole because what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, make some wooden bungs and dowels to fill the holes in on the other side uh, to make it nice and neat. So there's quite a lot of work involved with these because I'll obviously have to treat the wood uh, because once they're fixed, they're fixed uh, and uh, the painting I'll have to mask them all up so uh, they're on the boat sooner than I would like but I think it's a necessity otherwise it's going to hold me up doing the interior of the boat so it's got to be done. So I think the next few episodes are going to be involving doing this so let's get cracking as they say. Hopefully John's going to arrive back uh, and he can help me out. So uh, I'll just pause it for now. I'll take some measurements on the outside so that I can plan them out where I'm going to make an incision down there so I can see hopefully one of these. Uh, looking at the distance, I would say that there's probably maybe two. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to just see because they look pretty equal in, 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 in width. So let's, let's start with that. So I'll just pause you for a minute. And some what looks like old wood, um, uh, what do they call them? Plugs uh, that seem to be holding the, what was holding the top ones on. Um, so I'm gonna make one of those holes, uh, bring one back to life. Not so sure about the ones with a little bit of wood in it. Uh, that looks pretty flimsy to me. Uh, and then obviously I've done some digging down here, there we go, I made one hole and then when I sh shone my torch down there I found that they put a double one in as well. So as you can see there's one there and there is one there. So I shall need to remove those two obviously because it's so close to the water line they've um, uh, they put uh, two close to one another just to hold it tight. Um, as you can see with my jigsaw I, I managed to pierce the outer, uh, I mean that's a wood uh, looking at it there, you can see I've just made a, I've broke some of the um, fiberglass. I've, I've checked on the other side of the boat and it's not gone right through, uh, it's fairly thick. So I'll do, what I'll do is I'll just re-fiberglass all that up. Um, so it, it'll all be good to go. So I'm going to have to remove that and I'm going to have to remove that as well. So obviously what you've just seen is behind those fiberglass, uh, that the fiberglass covering on there. So I'll need to um, remove those because when we took the, um, the old wood from the exterior of the boat, I used an angle grinder to, to cut the bolts, which were brass. So obviously they're still stuck in the hull. So I shall, uh, I shall remove all those along there. So I'm currently moving, trying to remove these two bolts. And they really are rusted. Uh, there's not much holding them in actually. There's no bolt on the other end. So I'm truly welded to this boat. Trusty socket set, 12 mil. That is turning it. So the thread and the nut came off with the uh, first one, but the second one, the thread stayed in and the nut came off. So I think a bit of, well, Sure, I've got some mole grips somewhere. Mole grips!
turn the mold grip all the way around because the hole isn't big enough. Ah. I shouldn't wiggle it. I don't know how long wiggle is necessary. Come on. Not how long. Oh! Yes! Yeah! Bring it on! Oh. Simple things in life make me so happy. Yes! Go! Oh, I thought I broke it too. Oh. So the next job is cutting out all those. What time is it? I've got an appointment. What I might do is I might pause this, go and do what I've got to do, come back and get all those bare, penetrating fluid on them all, leave them overnight, come back in the morning, be happy, plough on, pull them out. How hard can that be? Okay, so basically I've got my mask and I've got uh, my mask and I've got my glasses and I'm now going to start revealing the bolts that are in there. Put my mask on the right way. Oscillator. So I'm just going to cut around here and hopefully it will just show us where the, uh, the bolt is. So, looks like the washer uh, that was on there, which should have looked like that, has corroded away and we're just left with a nut. And I think I'm going to have to get my mold grips again, like I did with those two, uh, and see if I can extract that. There's not much showing, so that might be a bit of an issue. I might have to try and knock that through somehow um, or because I've <laughs> the problem is I've filled it from the other side so I can't actually physically see where it, it goes in here from the other side um, so anyway can I just ask you yes is, is, oh by the way producer Johnny's back hello say hello Johnny. hello um, is that <laughs> what is that affecting the outside at all no not at the moment it isn't but it's going to have to go through to the outside because you'll be bolting through. Yeah, well, I decided, well, you know, originally I decided that I was I was going to drill some more holes. But I thought, well, it's a boat. What are you drilling more holes for when there's uh, existing holes there? And these are measured out every 18 inch. inch. So I thought, well, I might as well just reuse the holes. Why am I going to make more? So I was a bit thick there. So I'm going to knock those out and... Uh, freshen up the, the holes 
and then we'll get some uh, we'll go and get some stainless steel marine quality uh, bolts and then we'll just put them all in and this is where I'm going to need you hopefully to hold the pieces of wood on the other side so then I can mark it through here then I can drill the wood away from the boat uh, and then we can start bolting it in so it's a two-man job so I thought if you're not here tomorrow well, I'll get these all done now I can get the, uh, the, the wood teak pieces out and I'll start staining them tomorrow John needs the camera tomorrow so uh, I'll be doing a bit of staining and then hopefully we'll be back on board and we can get cracking and get these two on once that happens we can really start to motor on because I've cut quite a bit of wood on it as you know and we can get these um, we can get cracking so I'm going to start just doing the rest of them uh, and then um, we can call it a day so I'll get doing these Okay, that should just pop off. Yes, good. Okay, so what we've got is I can see there is a washer there, uh, and there is that. Obviously, you can see that there's a nut, and then you can see the the bolt that's going through. So what you're actually seeing is something like that, and the depth being like that going through. But this one looks like it's intact. I'll probably need to um, lubricate it with some um, WD-40 or something of that nature. And I might just leave that, let it soak, and then tomorrow morning I should be able to take that off. Uh, but obviously over there, there was one of those that it had corroded. And I obviously there was just a nut, as you saw, like that. Uh, and I've got to somehow try and get what looks like the tip of the bolt that goes through. So you're seeing that bit at the end. I've got to somehow get that out. Now, I don't think I can knock it out because it's got teeth. And it's obviously screwed in. So I'll have to think about that. I might have to file it flat and then maybe drill it out or something like that. But we'll come across that bridge when we need to. Can I make a su suggestion? Oh, why? Why don't you file a sort of screwdriver's head in it so you could screw it out? Uh, yeah. With the oscillator. Yeah, good idea. Just make a little slot for the screwdriver. Yeah, I might be able to do that. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get cracking. Let's get on with that one. to get that one out so I will continue they're obviously going down the length of the boat uh, as you can see the top half was done at a uh, very early stages of when we were doing the uh, uh, the stripping out of the boat 
these are all there, no problem with those at all. These were below the waterline, so I, I can understand why they rotted away uh, significantly. So I shall continue to go down there. There's no need to show. I mean, you can see what I'm going to be doing. I've obviously got the other side to do. I can be doing that tomorrow. Um, so, yes, so I shall continue. I won't say it's the end of this episode because we're not so sure how much is in the way of filming I've done up to now. So we shall switch it off for now and then hopefully I'll be able to continue uh, when John is available. So thank you very much and I shall continue. See you later. Okay, so this is where I get a bit nervous. So I'm going to drill, put some holes in this boat. I've spent all my time filling them and now I'm going to re-open uh, them up. So I'm going to drill this one. Uh, and then see where it takes us. But ultimately, I'm going to be drilling them all, obviously. These holes are every 18 inch, and uh, it seems silly not to use them again, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put uh, a hole in this first one and see what happens. <laughs> Right, Whoa, there goes my me, uh, me favourite pencil. Uh, so, thank you. I think this bit's going to be hard work, mate. Can I do a one, two, three and do it again? Come on. Okay, and before you say anything, Yes, I know those holes aren't straight, but I am using the original ones. So, fingers crossed everything will go all right. Uh, we've, John and I, we've been in, uh, to uh, the marina to get some uh, uh, products. So, I think that's going to be the next stage, is getting these um, uh, pieces of uh, teak back on the boat. Uh, obviously, I've got to seal them and stain them, etc. Not stain them, but um, varnish them or whatever I'm going to do with them to make sure that they don't rot in any way. Uh, so I think that brings us to a nice finish, would you say, to the episode, John? Certainly. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too boring for you. Please like and subscribe uh, and hit that little bell which should be on your left-hand side of your screen. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to do, but it just lets you know when the next episode's coming out. Although my uh, loyal viewers should know that every Friday, that's when we, we tend to put them out. And I think this is episode 10, is it? I think this is nine. This is nine, yes. So stay tuned. Hope to see you in episode 10. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>